Hello everybody and welcome back to Critter Cove, where today we are making a stone kiln, apparently. Don't know what I need for that, but let's have a look. Um, I need a campfire, a trash can lid, and three metal pipes. Okay. Do I have any metal pipes in here? I have exactly that amount. Yay! And I have that exact amount of trash can lids. Uh, so what am I missing now? A campfire. Okay, let's make a campfire. Well, that was super easy. Stone kiln then. Where's that gonna go? Maybe next to the uh, metal cutter. A little bit. It's quite chonky, isn't it? It's quite a chonker boy, this one. Nah. I feel like that needed to go in that corner there. This needed to uh, go over here. That's going to be so much nicer. I think that's straight. I'm not sure. It's like the perfect little alcove for that stone kiln to go into, you see. Hopefully it will fit. Yes, that's much better. Okay, copper bottom, we're done. This unit sees that Lady Shilap has completed their task of creating a stone kiln and finishing the task of getting this workshop fully operational. Now with a fully operational workshop, we are prepared to begin repairs on the structures in town. Unfortunately, this unit lacks the data on how these meat person structures function. This unit requests Lady Shilab speak with Renard and see how he wishes to remedy this situation. Once the data is found on those buildings, please return to me again. This unit found working with Lady Shilab most efficient. Lovely. Let's go see Renard then, I guess. Might need a little bit of um a little bit of food. I should. Add like a cook pot. Cook ten, eleven, confirm. No, don't dismantle it, please. Pick up the grilled meat. Yeah, and eat all of that then. Oh, Renard has rather handily rather handily walk straight into the workshop. Yay! Would you look at that? You managed to save Copper Bottom and get the workshop operational. I knew it was right to put my faith in you. Capital! I don't think anyone could have done a better job and you deserve a reward. I've just the thing that someone new to town like yourself might need. I already took the liberty of contacting the Caring Community Commission. An official representative is on the way as we speak. So it's a good thing you managed to get this all finished before their arrival. They would not have, sorry, they would have been most perturbed to have arrived and found us not ready for them. When they get here, I'd like you to speak with them. You have such a fine way with people, and I'm sure you're more than equipped to answer any questions they might have. Wait, what? A representative from the Care and Community Commission is coming here. An inspector. Checkmark, I believe their name is. Do try to keep up, Lady Sheila. Care and Community Commission? The CCC is the organisation that literally puts towns on maps. Without their support, a town will just be left floundering, well, mapless and such. It's important that we do everything they ask in order to get our town to at least rank one, and eventually even higher, I dare say, vital even. With every faith, you'll do a spectacular job. Alright. A more better town. How many times do I say more better? <laughs> it's like they were watching me. Okay, so... more better it is. Let's make it more better. 
So what am I doing now then? Let's have a little look. X marks the spot. I still have not uh, gone and dug up the treasure. Also talk to Inspector Checkmark. Are you Inspector Checkmark? Hello. I'm Inspector Checkmark. I take it you're Lady Shelab. Renan told me to speak to you about getting your town ranking set up. Town ranking? Uh, yes. I assumed Renard must have told you, but perhaps it slipped his mind. I represent the Care and Community Commission. It's our job to travel around these backwater towns and make sure they're up to our current standards before we literally add them to travel maps. It just wouldn't do to add a new town to the map only to discover it didn't have a place to eat or adequate entertainment options. Not at all. We also supply these growing communities with guidelines and blueprints on how best to grow their towns. When a town meets our standards, we increase that town's ranking. According to the information we have on file and from my own inspection, I'd say you're just getting started. Your town has a functioning workshop. Also, there appears to be enough citizens currently, and it seems everyone is sufficiently happy at the moment. But you're lacking any shops to speak of. Based on that, I'm going to town assign your town a rank of zero. In order to increase your town rank, you'll need to get a few of these abandoned shops repaired and operational. Fortunately, the CCC is able to offer some assistance in that area. The CCC will supply you with a couple of blueprints of shops that your handybot will be able to en enact repairs. Okay, use to enact repairs, sorry. If you prove yourself a growing town, we can supply you with more as you rank up. Okay. Hmm, let me see. Ah, here we are. One for a clothing shop and another for a cafe. That should be enough to get you started. Cool. Okay, well I believe that just about covers everything. When you're ready, I'll return and make another inspection to see if your town qualifies for rank one. Good luck, Lady Shelab. Shelab, I look forward to seeing you again. Why was my own name the thing I couldn't say there? Right. We are now ta town rank zero. And we can press T to see our town rank. Oh, that was the thing that was missing. So workshop, cafe, clothing, shop, tavern. Gym, bait shop, bakery, and a museum. I knew there'd be a museum. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And residence. And next rank, I'll get the tavern and the furniture shop. Ooh. Nice. Employee information, copper bottom. Likes job. <laughs> Good job. Add two towns, folks. Construct the cafe, construct the clothing shop. Okay, so I think before we do that, I am going to need to go to bed pretty soon. But before I even do that, I want the treasure map. So... Where am I? I'm here. So I need to go this way, I think? Maybe? Where am I now? I need to be up here. Okay, I'll follow the beach around a bit then. A more better town. Love it. Yeah. Okay, let's carry on up here. So, I am there. The treasure map it's slightly up there, actually. Up above me, up there. So let's see if I can... Maybe go up the stairs. Into the town up this way. And out here. Uh, is this now? No, it's not quite, is it? It's maybe up there, actually. And up here. Is it here? Uh, I'm trying to work it out. I think that's the museum, so yeah, maybe it's around here somewhere. There are we. If I zoom in a bit, like it's seriously 
difficult to zoom in here. Um, it's definitely around here somewhere, I think. Unless it's down in the sea there. I just need, oh, let's track it. So I track it. Does it show me where I need to go? <laughs> Even slightly. It, it, it being dark doesn't help. It's definitely somewhere around this museum area, though. I feel like it might be around here. I'm not seeing anywhere to dig, though. Unless it's down on the beach down there, can I maybe just like jump down a bit? I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, the deal is with fall damage. Okay, not so bad. Okay, there's something I could learn. I learned the furniture work table because I am awesome. I hope that's not too ahead of time. Maybe not quite the what I was meant to find in the way of buried treasure, though. I feel like it might be around here somewhere. It's like X marks the spot, but I have no idea where it actually is. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to come back, I think. I know whereabouts I'm looking now. I just uh, can't find it and I think I'm less likely to be able to find it if it's dark. Just a hunch, but uh, I think I'm way less likely to be able to find it if it's dark. So it's somewhere, somewhere near Pokey's tent. I've got an X marks the spot, but I just want to be able to see. Shall I put my new pharaoh bed down? I picked it up. And I have a pharaoh bed. I want to put that down instead because pharaoh bed is awesome bed. Um, question is, where do I want to put it? Maybe there. I might still move things around a little bit, but how much nicer is that bed? <laughs> that bed's a good bed. Far, far nicer. And maybe if I can make the furniture workbench, I'll be able to make even nicer things. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of daylight behind us. Let's go and see if we uh, can find this treasure chest now uh, I'll chop these oh nice sure defense learned maybe I can put sure defenses in eventually when I've learned it okay so I'm gonna just concentrate around the bottom I feel like uh, if we look at the actual treasure map it was around the cross is like there so I feel like when we go up, we end up about here. So I'm I really am thinking it's the beach. I've not seen any crosses anywhere, so my thoughts are that I maybe need to just dig. Oh, there's some tasty meat plants. Tasty, tasty meat plants. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, let's uh, just have a dig around here, so. Am I quite there yet? Oh, I'm nowhere near. I need to be like way up there. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, more tasty, tasty food. Tasty, tasty, tasty food. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, so let's see where I am now. 
that is round about where the cross is so if i look at the actual treasure map yeah i am kind of stood exactly where the cross is so we give her a dig here hey oh that worked see i knew i just needed daylight x marks the spot complete a bottle on the shore complete lovely recipe learned cooking station oh nice maybe i can make better food with that we'll have to see I already got that one, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Put my shovel away. Put my axe away. I can't remember what I got from that. That was... Cooking... No, it wasn't the cooking station, was it? It was something else we got. What did we get from that? I can't even remember now. That's how good my memory is. I've got loads of stuff now, though. I don't even remember what I got from that. I'll be able to see when I look back through my recordings, though. Nah. Oh, well. I'm going to pick you up. Because you look interesting is something i've never seen before a tub so i'm kind of thinking that that would be something to pick up and is this a box full of wood here or something yes wonderful that was apparently a park bench at one point in its life these look like more planters planters might be cool i might be able to put them in front of the workshop I have a little tiny farm there eventually so this would be a lot more like Porsche in the way that you farm, if that is the case, if it's going to be planter-based crops. Maybe I can make some of those meat drumsticks. Um. Oh, hello, Sammy. You are waving at me. Waving generally means they want to talk to you about something. So, oh, hey, Lady Sheila. Wow, you look so much better from the last time we spoke. I really hope my advice helped out. I try not to butt in too much, but I couldn't stand by while you were working with yourself to the bone. Oh, by the way, I figured out a new cooking recipe. Thought you might like to know it too. You can never have too many tasty dishes, is what I always say. Okay. Mega meat jumble. Oh, super glad I ran into you. I was thinking maybe you could help out with a little lighting problem the town has. It gets really dark here at night, and I'd hate for anyone to stub their toe because they can't see. So I figured, what if we got some new street lights installed? How would we do that? Hmm. My grandpappy always said, if you want to know how something's made, you should first take it apart. He destroyed so many things. I bet if you took a wrench to the broken streetlights around town, you could eventually figure out how to build one. You can probably do that with all sorts of things out there in the world. See, a lot of this writing reminds me a tiny bit of like Animal Crossing, where they have the, the word that each one of them says. Like um, how my little rat friend always says capital. And also the small writing. I should say it in the little voice that I say when it's Timmy and Tommy or whatever they're called. <laughs> I bet if you took a wrench to the broken streetlights around town, you could eventually figure out how to build one. You can probably do that with all sorts of things in the world, which we have worked out. Once you've unlocked the secret to making streetlights, you'll be able to craft new ones out of the things you find here and there. And then it's a matter of picking a good spot and bing, bang, boom, the town will have a new light. Oh, it's going to be so nice to have some light when it gets dark again. That way Pokey won't be able to jump out of the shadows and scare me anymore. That Pokey... He's not a nice little lizard, that guy, is he? No. Well, I'm gonna chop this. Gotta be careful of my stamina a little bit, because I'm gonna be having to chop a load of street lights, I think. Now, I think I. Yeah, I hadn't even seen these before. Just mantle them with my wrench. I'm getting wood, wood planks, and glass out of it. One of ten, so we need to find ten street lamps. Eventually I'll be able to make the planters. I think that'll make the place look really cute if I have planters. So I'm just making an effort to try and grab them where I can. There's another one. Oh, they're well camouflaged, aren't they? I bet I'm going to walk past quite a few of them. There's another one. I am trying to generally tidy up. It's, it's the whole no place like home part of me that is that is like kicking in there. 
I need to tidy it all up. Right, there's a couple of street lamps in the in the centre, which was to be expected. Another round planter. Hold on there. What are we on now? Like four, five, five. Uh six over here. Quest do we have at the moment? Let me just double check. Blueprints for copper bottom. All oh, right, okay. I need to give well, copper bottom some blueprints as well. I got all distracted by all the side quests, but I think this is the main quest, isn't it? So we best do this. Okay, greeting mode activated. Hello, Lady Sheila. This off unit offers you greetings as a way of maintaining social constructs. I have something for you. Here you go. Explanation mode activated. This unit thanks Lady Sheila for supplying it with the needed blueprints for the clothing shop and cafe repairs. With this data, this unit will be able to survey the structures to determine what materials will be needed to initiate repairs. The survey of a structure will take some time, so a meat person must experience patience while this unit works. The unit does not see any logical structure to start with, so we'll leave the decision to Lady Sheila, which they would like to, uh, which they would like this unit to start surveying first. Copper Bottom doesn't talk like a human, I swear. I am thinking clothing shop because maybe I could buy some better clothes because I my threads do not look good right now. No, no, no. <laughs> this unit agrees this is a good choice. Due to a lack of hard metal shell, meat persons need to cover their soft, vulnerable, fleshy bits. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again to get the full report. Okay, I shall do that. In the meantime, I shall take down all of the lampposts I see everywhere. There's one here. And we will put new ones in everywhere. So I'm sure I saw a quest there to like clean the workshop. That's not. Workshop looks pretty clean to me, and that's this bit up here counts as workshop too. I don't know. It doesn't does it track it on my map or no? It doesn't really. Okay. Well, I'm not going to worry about that one because uh, I don't know what it, I could be there forever trying to do that. I'm sure that's clean. Uh, so we're doing light up the town at the moment. Also clean the town a little bit. Get some good stuff from this. Can I chop the trees? No. Only only trash. No tree chopping. Okay, that is eight street lamps. Uh, I already kind of did the ones around the town centre, so I figure if I just go out around here, maybe I'll find some more um, somewhere. Uh, there's one. So is this nine? Because and... I just trying to chop the odd thing around the place. I know that I'm not going to have enough stamina really to do like everything I need. Um... Probably should cook up some drumsticks soon, actually. Oh, this is where there'll be like only actually 10 on the island. I won't go to find oh, there's the last one. Perfect. I have the street lamp blueprint. So now does Sammy want me to craft one? New light in town, let Sammy know the job is done. Okay. Um, so I don't know if it's a crafty crafty thing. No, it's not. So I think I'm going to have to go back to the workshop and make a street lamp. I cannot leave that trash bin in the middle of the ground. That's just... Like the ones to the side I can maybe overlook. Um, although I do definitely want planters. Whee! 
I wonder how copper bottom's getting on. Oh, there he is. Hello. Um, this unit is a... Okay, the structure appears to require only minimal repairs to resume standard operation. Evidence indicates a high likelihood it was a shop. More specifically, a garment shop. Enacting repairs on this structure could restore it to its former function. You could make good use of its services since this unit's swag sensors do not detect any results. Burn, Copper Bottom. Burn. So I think he's still busy with that. I think that's what that means. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's another lamppost. I think maybe the ones in the town centre would be the ones to do first. Also a little bit of, like, sorting out the town centre. Um, but I think I need to cook some food and go and make the street lamp. So we can do that while Copper Bottom's getting on with his survey. Actually, you know what I should do first? I should make my new cook pot, shouldn't I? My new um, cooking station. I need a campfire. Right, can I pick up this campfire? Because I won't need another one. Yeah. And then I can make a cooking station. Yeah, I have a cooking station. I, I wonder if I should put it inside or whether I should put it outside. I kind of feel like outside, but I kind of feel like... I don't know if like right in front of the thing is good, but... Oh man, there's tires around here and things. Maybe that's why it thought that I was still not clean here. I don't know. Where am I going to put this cooking station anyway? I don't know where I'm going to put it. Uh, maybe in the front there. I've got loads of drumsticks, you see, so I need to make them into something a bit nicer. Yeah, that would fit quite nicely there, I think. Like right in front. And then I'm going to add a bit of fuel. So maybe some sticks. Make, I could make a mega meat jumbo with three of these. Oh. Um. I guess I can only make grilled meat then. I'll just make a couple because I've I've got a feeling. Oops, I've got a feeling I might find more stuff later, and maybe if I just have what I need for now. That'd be great. Okay, so now we need to make uh oh I can make a furniture work table. Ooh. Street lamp is what I need to make. So I need a couple of metal plates for that. Do I have any in my chest? I do not. So we need to go around finding thing uh just breaking things down. Maybe I could go in the sea a little bit and break some things down. Oh, I won't be able to do that until I've got food. Although the berries, I've got berries, they could do something maybe, I don't know. But grilled meat's probably better, right? So, eat some grilled meat. Oh. Oh. Yeah, grilled meat is great. It's good stuff, like three of them is a full stamina bar. In fact, I will eat three of them, because I'll probably use a full stamina oh. bar. Let's get in the ocean. I know I haven't really, like, completely cleaned out the town, but... I have a feeling the metal plates will be in the ocean. Maybe I cleaned the ocean better than the <laughs> better than the town so far, apparently. Have a look, see. So the engines and stuff are back. So they seem to respawn pretty like pretty easily fast. So I've got mechanical parts and oil. So the oil is good for cooking and stuff. Oh, 
la, la, up, 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 up. I'm always losing health when I go into water. I'm a nightmare for not getting like involved in things and like not. I don't know if that wheel ever came off, actually. Or if I'm even in a position to. No, I don't think it did. Okay. Hey, Mr. Turtle. I can't afford to lose any more health, so I need to let my oxygen completely regain itself. And then I'm going to take a look around the shipping containers. See if I can find anything good down there. There's some metally looking stuff down here, which fills me with hope I might get some metal plates. Metal beam! Oh man. And more metal, and I'll do this one as well. Two metal plates. I think that was what I needed for one street lamp. Wonderful. Let's go. This will be the only street lamp I ever put down. You watch. Unless they give me a quest to put like 10 down. All the stuff around is like wood and metal and things. Hey, Copper Bottom, are you finished? Ah, greetings, Lady Sheila. Data has been gathered and compiled on the damaged clothing shop. Damage to the clothing shop is minor and requires minimal resources to initiate repairs. A collection box with a list of required materials has been placed near the clothing shop. Completing this task will allow this unit to begin work on the meat person covering business. Okay. Let me see. What do I need? I need five cloth, an old loom. Oh. There are some old ruins on Hot Tropic that look like a promising location to begin my search. For an old loom. Oh, okay. Stone slabs. I don't have those. Bricks from the stone kiln and metal pipes. Ah, I, this is going to take a little while. All right, then. I stuck some cloth in there because I bought some. Right, okay, so <laughs> maybe the street lamp. Maybe I could put a street lamp kind of by the clothing shop somewhere. I've got the stuff for it now. Right, okay, let's, let's hope the cloth wasn't needed. I'm terrible at doing that. Hey, copper bottom. Uh, the unit is ready to begin gathering repair data on another structure. Oh, nice, you can do two at once. Which structure would you like this unit to gather data on? The cafe. This unit has observed that meat persons do love to cram their face holes with biomatter. This unit will start gathering data on the cafe right away. Once this unit has completed gathering the data on the structure, please speak to it again to get a full report. Okay, cool. This is such a good game. Um, uh, 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 street lamp. Craft. What the earth is that spiky thing I picked up? Dragon fruit. Oh, nice. Okay, so yeah, I think I will put the street lamp in front. I'll see. I'm just gonna tidy up, up out here a little tiny bit. Pokey would be disgusted. Because I'm always putting my filthy hands in things, apparently. Okay, so I'd be really interested to see how this looks at night, actually. But there was a street lamp, like, over here. So maybe, maybe in the corners. That'd be quite nice. Put them back where they were. Okay. So, street lamp. Place. There we are. And that's a working one. And then I can pick it up and put it elsewhere if I want to. Wonderful. How nice. Alright, so I'm waiting for the survey of the cafe to be complete. Is there anything else we're trying to do at the moment? Um, we need to find Sammy. Oh, hello! 
Anka is waving at me. Ah, you'd be just the last I was hoping to run into. Old Anka has been doing some thinking with his old shark brain, and I realise that you're not much of a sea captain if you ain't got a ship. Fortunately, you can say my Finns have built their fair share of ships in my time. I'd be more than pleased to volunteer my shipwriting services to you. But me old cartilage ain't what it used to be and I can't be trekking all over this island looking for parts. That'd be your responsibility. In order for Anchor to build you a fine craft that won't sink when the weather gets rough, you're going to need three things. Well known fact, the number one cause of ships sinking be water getting in them. So the first thing you'll need be a seaworthy hull. Also, it keeps your boots dry. You'll also be needing some sort of engine to make the ship go where you want her to. Trust all Anchor, don't leave your travels up to the sea. She'd be a fickle, spiteful mistress and also terrible at directions. And finally, be on the lookout for a lantern post of some sort. It's dark out there, and you might be wanting some light if you want to do some light reading or something. Find those items, bring them back to me, and Anchor will make you a fine vessel. You've got your order, sailor. Now off with you. Right, so what I need to do... Right. So, boat part. Show map. Yeah. Okay, so there's some boat parts. Okay. But first I'm gonna go find Sammy because the street lamp, I might be able to just take it back up, but I would need to tell Sammy it's there first before I take it away. And then Pokey will be like, ha ha ha, I can get you again. Oh, I'm so mean, aren't I? So Sammy might be around his tent, I'm not sure. No. No, so it's only a small island, right? You've got to be able to find him. Sammy! That made out of a furnace. <laughs> I was like, can I have that furnace, please? And they're like, no! So, there's a boat part around here somewhere. I wonder though, the middle of this is like right where I found that tub. I think it might be the tub. Let me, let me just, um... Oh yeah, I got the tub. The grass cutter engine, I've got one of those. An old coat hanger with a lantern hanging from it, it would likely make a fine beacon. So, that, so this one here was definitely the tub. I don't think there'll be another tub. No, so we've got that. Because uh, we might find Sammy while we're like looking for parts. Uh, if I'm going to be running around anyway, I may as well do two things at once. Which has always been my motto. Or at least I try to. doesn't always work and I don't always remember, but... Right, so where am I now? Oh gosh, it's right on the other side of the island. Okay. Still dismantling lampposts just because it's neatening things up. These are all lovely places to potentially put a little farm or a little something over here, you know? Well, actually, technically, I think this is the path, so <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um, where am I uh, compared to... Alright, I think it needs to be over here somewhere. Here. Kinda. Kinda over here somewhere. So I'm either looking for... The grass cutter engine or the old coat hanger. So what are we gonna find? I need to be closer to the ocean. I've gone too far. I feel like I might have gone too far here. I also might have already found the grass cutter engine before. And it might have been in here.
So I'm right in the middle of the circle. No, I'm not right in the middle of the circle there at all, am I? Oh, I can see a lantern over there. Is that my lantern on a stick? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Right. And I know I've got the grass cutter engine in my box. So I'll go get that out of my box. And then hopefully that should be enough to make myself a ship. Then we can go exploring. How cool is that? Although I don't know whether we've got enough time left in the episode for that. I'll have to see. I'm too busy, like, clean gathering and digging and cleaning up and stuff. Oh, yes, there's Sammy. Looking at my light, of course. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay, lady? She lab, you look like you've been burning the candle at both ends. I finished pacing things. Yay, you did it! The new light looks just amazing. It's not much, but every journey begins with just one step, right? We can get some more light set up and maybe a bench or two. Oh, and some sort of game table. Oh, I'm getting way ahead of myself, but with you around, I just can't help it. I think Critter Cove is going to turn into a great place to call home. You know what? I was holding onto this thing from back home, but I want you to have it instead. What is it? A park bench? Put it somewhere in town so everyone can enjoy it. We've all got to pitch in to make this a better place, after all. Okay. Well, how about we do? How about we put it next to your light? Maybe there. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? Kind of looks almost as run down as, <laughs> as it was before, but never mind. Right, I feel like I need to go make a boat. I don't know where I would go to make a boat, or whether I just need to hand the stuff... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, I need to get the pieces together first. So I need to go to my box. I should just put a bed in the work... <laughs> in the workplace. Workspace. Um, a bar poster? Wow. Maybe I should put that up in the workshop. That'd look cute. Uh, also the... There we are. Grasshopper engine. Okay, I can't put it up in here. Maybe that's a home only thing. Possibly. Um, so... Right, got all my stuff. So do I take it back to... Yeah, yeah, take it back to Anchor. Okay, cool. And he will make me a boat, apparently. Anchor! I want my boat! Oh no, oh, I fell in. See if I jump out. Ah, it never works. I never get the timing right. Ever. There we are. Oh, he's... Anchor, where are you? I'm not supposed to hand the quest in when you're not even here. Man, you suck. Is he at the bar? Uh, no, he's not uh, Not here. Welcome to Renard's Retail, Lady Sheila. Home of the no money back guarantee. <laughs> okay. I would like to sell something. No. Can I buy anything from you? Mechanical parts. And rubber tires. And electronic parts. Nice. Uh, Pokey and Sammy are still making their decision on their homes. So I've found basically everyone on the island except for Copper Bottom. And Anchor. Lovely. Typical. Where's Anchor gone? I need to track the blinking characters. Where on earth would he be other than near to the shop? Or in the town? The world doesn't want me to have a boat, clearly. Look on my map. Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna help me with where he is, unfortunately. That sucks. They've got all the parts as well. It's so annoying. 
come here, Anchor. Because I can't get the parts for the cafe and the probably for the well, for the uh, well, definitely. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Have you managed to find the supplies? Yes. Shiver me timbers. You found all the parts I'd be needed to fix your my ship. This will be a fine vessel, I tell you. Well, it's fine as a vessel, uh, but can be made out of a tub and a lawnmower engine, anyhow. <laughs> well, Anchor is going to be getting started on putting her all together for you. While you'll be waiting, you should go let Renard know you'll be having a ship soon. He's been yapping me gills off asking about when you'd have one. I'm sure by the time you found out that Lan Lobin Rat be wanting, I'll be having your ship put together. Okay. Well, I know where Renard is, because there was at the shop. Getting a bit dark though, it's probably time to cap the episode off there as well. So we'll see if we can chat to Renard first. If Renard be around, if not, then we will just go to bed. Um, yes, Renard is here. Lovely. Ah, oh, Lady Sheila, we've heard that Anchor is helping you procure your very own ship. This is most opportune news. You can use your boat to explore the many islands beyond our shores, all of which hold the resources needed to support our community. Most importantly, are the people who can be found on them. And if we were ever to grow, we're going to need to get more people to move here. Oh, it's kind of like visiting islands on Animal Crossing a bit. You can, like, nick the people off the islands. It'll be up to you to act as our ambassador and sell them the dream of Critter Cove. I'm sure someone of your talents will have no trouble. No trouble at all. And as luck would have it, I've already figured out the first place you should start looking. I have it on good authority that the sailor is stuck on the nearby island of Shallow Sands. If you were to, say, sail up to this poor soul and offer assistance, I bet they'd be so grateful they'd jump at the chance to move here. Yes, yes, that settles it. You'll go to Shallow Sands immediately. Good luck, Lady Shelab. Alright, let's talk to Anchor and see if we can have a little look at the boat before I go to bed. If Anchor has not, like, wandered off again. I saw Anchor wandering off in this direction. Maybe gone back to by the shop? Maybe gone home? I don't know. Mm, not at the shop. They may need to. Oh no, I see. Looking out wistfully over the sea. Hi! Oh, this is my boat. Look! Look at my boat. My boat is amazing. There we go. I must say, she's a fine looking craft. Well, she'd be a craft, anyways. Congratulations, you're now officially the captain of your own ship. One more thing, it's the law of the sea that a new captain gives her ship a new name. Trust me, you don't want to break the laws of the sea. Once the sea lawyers get involved, you're sunk. So got a good name in mind. The minnow. Oh, I don't know. What shall we do for a name for the ship? Ah, I'm gonna name it after my ferret. Athena's Folly. Are you sure you want to call her Athena's Folly? Don't worry too much since you can always change it later. Oh, right, okay. I'll <laughs> just change it. That's fine. I could just call it the Minnow then. Yes. It is a fine name for a fine vessel. Treat her well, and she'll probably never sink on you. Athena doesn't actually deserve... She she gave me a cracking bite yesterday, so she does not deserve to have a ship named after her, but oh well. <laughs> and if she does, tell Davy Jones that Anchor says ahoy. Well, don't just stand there gawking like a landloving wall-eyed gutter snipe. Hop in and take her for a spin. Uh, let's have a little spin. Oh, it drives nicely. It drives like the Mara boat. I could say sails, but it's a motor, so... Oh gosh, okay. I started pressing numbers and now... When I press numbers, it just goes on its own. When I press one, it's used to like auto run somehow. E to anchor it, and then Q to change the camera angle. Nice. Oh, 
park her up and I'm gonna go to sleep and then we're gonna go on an adventure tomorrow. We will go to the shallow sands and then I will um, start looking at going other places where I might be able to find the sorts of things like a loo, for example, that I'm going to need to continue my uh, to continue the clothes shop. I'll also have a look at what we're going to need for the cafe. Hopefully Copper Bottom will be finished surveying that pretty soon so I'll be able to, to know what I need. But for now, we're going to go to sleep in my beautiful pharaoh bed. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.